welcome back again to another video if you're new to my channel you're most definitely welcome my name is damlola i'm a youtuber based in ontario canada and i share my experiences living in canada though i just came <laughs> i'm going to be sharing with you guys i'm going to be taking this taking you guys on this journey with me in canada and i'm also going to be telling you guys some things you need to know if you intend on moving to canada Please join the family by clicking on the subscribe button down below there, 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 there. Please click the subscribe button and also turn on the notification bell so you'll be the first to get my videos every time I post a video. Or don't you want to come to Canada? Don't you want to come to Canada? So subscribe. So guys, in today's video, I'll be telling you guys the documents needed for a study visa application or what you need to apply for your visa, your Canadian study visa. So the first thing you need to apply for your visa is your passports. I mean, you want to come to Canada without having passports. Some people will say well, they want to come abroad, they will not have passports. The first thing I get pa now, now, this month, don't let this month finish before you get your passport. If you don't have passports, <laughs> if you don't have passport, go and get the passports because that is the first thing you need to start your pr process. That is the first thing you need to get your visa, okay? I mean, what do you want to stand visa on? The next thing you need is your admission letter. And please, if you are applying for um, admission to any university, make sure you're applying to a university that is a distant learning institution. They call something distant learning institution here in Canada. And those schools that are distant learning institutions are the ones that are eligible for you to apply for postgraduate work permit after you finish your program so if your program is for one year you're entitled to like have work in canada for another year for one year if your program is for two years or more or like 18 months or more you're going to be entitled to three years of postgraduate work permits in canada so if you're applying to a school make sure the school is a distant learning institution so you'll be eligible for postgraduate work permits after you're done with school okay the third thing you need to apply for your visa your Canadian study visa is your tuition receipt I know this is really not a necessity it is really not compulsory but it is highly highly advisable because there are so many people competing with you to get visa Mm -hmm. So if you pay your school fees, it seems to the it seems to the visa to the visa officer that going to issue your visa that okay this person really wants to study. For this person to have even paid school fees, this person really wants to study. Okay, so it gives you a better chance. So try to pay, even if you're not going to pay your full school fees, there are even some schools that require you to pay like part of your school fees before they confirm your admission for my school you have to pay like part of your school fees before you'll be confirmed before the admission will be like confirmed tuition receipts is the third thing you need or scholarship letter because there's some there's some people that get scholarships full scholarships or full funding if you have full funding get your funding letter or your scholarship letter okay add it to the doc list of documents you need to apply so the next thing you need to apply for your study visa is your statement of purpose or as some people call it letter of intent so you need something called statement of purpose this statement of purpose is where is the letter is the only thing that's going to represent you to the visa officer because as i said in my previous video you're not going to be doing a physical interview with any visa officer i don't know if by now it's going to change or maybe tomorrow it's going to change and you have to do interviews to get canadian visa study visa but as of today that i'm making this video you're not going to do a an interview you're not going to do any interview with anybody so that statement of purpose that letter of intent is where you're going to explain everything about yourself who you are what you've been doing with your life before you intend on coming to Canada, why you want to come to Canada, why you chose the school you you want to school, and all those plenty plenty questions. Like your statement of purpose is what is going to stand for you. So just make sure you've drafted. It took me 
weeks to finish my statement of my statement of purpose so you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. statement of purpose is one of the most important things that will make or break your application when you want to apply for study visa so the next thing you need is a your bank statement your statement of account or mm -hmm. statement of account of the person that will be sponsoring you either your bank statement or the bank statement of the person that will be sponsoring you or if you're going to be sponsoring yourself and maybe your parents also your dad or your mom is also going to be sponsoring you so you have to you need your statement of accounts and the statement of accounts of your father or of your mother the person that the people your sponsors basically you need four to six months statement of accounts this is advice to print out six months six months statement of accounts though on the canadian website they ask for four months statement of accounts but it is advised you bring six months statement of accounts the next thing that you need is company's registration that is cac if you're if you are sponsoring yourself and you claim you are a business owner make sure to get your company's registration that is your cac whatever cac documents or if your parents are going to be sponsoring you and they have their company or like what they do just make sure that you have the csc registration of that company then the next thing you need is police clearance certificates this can be done in lagos any i don't think it's any police station i know i did i, I didn't know that alagbon alagbon police station in ikoyi I don't know where else they do it, but police clearance certificate. This is just to show that you don't have like a criminal record and all those kind of plenty, plenty things. Police record. Then the next thing you need is the next thing you need are your credentials. Your all your credentials, like your major credentials. Not like you will go and buy and bring in your first school living certificate. Nobody needs it. Trust me, that certificate is the most useless certificate somebody can ever own in their lifetime <laughs> you need your if you are if you're going for a postgraduate study and you already if you're going for a postgraduate study and you already have like an undergrad undergraduate study certificate you need your university certificates you need nyc certificates if you've done that already you need um your statement your date of birth and just like things like that your make your important certificates important ones not the unnecessary ones you don't need too many you don't need too many things to apply for visa then um, the next thing you need is a reference letter you need a, if you uh, or if you're already working in nigeria or in your own country it is advised you get a reference letter from your company from your organization the organization you're working with just to attest of your good behavior what you were doing when you were working with them and things like that and also you can get um, a letter of attestation or a letter of referencing from your church from your mocks if you are someone that yeah, is into activities and all those kind of stuff maybe you play football or you have like extracurricular activity that you do you can also like bring you can bring um like reference letter from them just to show that you are like a you are like a good person that won't go to canada to go and be doing anyhow so yeah on my list that is all i have i did not like gather too many things to apply i just like took the major things i needed and i applied honestly you just need like the things they need to see not unless you don't need unnecessary things even that extracurricular activity reference letter this is not important but you can just want to add it if maybe you are you are the president of one um something something club that you do you can want to add it okay that's just it thank you so much for watching mm -hmm. if you have any questions as i always say please drop it in the comment section and also if there's anything i didn't add for the purpose of for the purpose of this video and for people that will also like read the comments and want to know more please drop some things i did not add in the comment section so people can 
see it okay thank you guys so much if you've not subscribed this is the perfect time to subscribe because i'm judging you for not subscribing i am judging you subscribe now you cannot be watching all this content for free okay thank you for subscribing okay thank you guys so much i'll see you in my next video bye guys